All whitebait are juvenile fish. In Europe, the term whitebait refers to young herring. In Australia, it's cockabullies, and in China, sprats and smelts. New Zealand whitebait are mostly juveniles of a native species called enunga. Well, it's nearly seven o'clock and I'm on the main street of Whotaroa, which is a tiny little township on the west coast of the South Island. And I'm waiting for a seasoned white baiter, Peter. And he's gonna pick me up and take me to his spot, apparently. So here he comes now. <laughs> G'day Peter. G'day, how you going? Jeremy, Good, mate. is it? Yeah, how's things? Good, not too bad. So where are we off to? Well, oh, if I tell you that, I'll have to shoot you. Well, we don't want that, <laughs> so how about you just take me? <laughs> the most plentiful supply of whitebait is on the west coast of New Zealand. The catch is very valuable, fetching up to $90 a kilogram. So whitebaiters are understandably secretive about their best fishing spots. So this is your little piece of paradise, Peter. Yeah, this is my piece of paradise. It looks pretty good to me. Yeah. So how much time do you spend here? I spend three months of the year white baiting here. Uh, you know, it's really great. It would good be. Peaceful. <laughs> so obviously we're going to have a crack at a bit of white baiting on your stand tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to take you down and uh, see if we can get a fritter or two, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what a cracker of a day. You yeah, get the mountain go. view. Look at those mountains. Yeah, let's go off down and get a paddy. All right. OK. <laughs> Peter has his own white baiting spot on the Waitangi Taona River, which is just a few hundred metres up from the river mouth. This is a net I'm going to use today, Jeremy, for a while anyway. <laughs> Put the rock net in later. I suppose if the mozzies get really bad, you can just squat yeah, down. Did. Yeah, squat down like that. <laughs> So far it's been a quiet season for Peter, so today we're hoping the white bait are running. Alright, we're going to stick her in the third hole. <coughs> Pretty simple, she just slides down into the slots here. Perfect. I'm going to slide those on in there. Yep, Get right to the bottom. So I guess that's um, just a waiting game now. The... Just a waiting game really now, yeah. The uh, screens do the job of keeping them from going past us. So the, the, obviously the basic principle is the, the white bait come up the river yep. and then they get to the screen and they can't go through so they go along and then into yeah. your net. Yep. When they're in the net you lift her up and you, hopefully you've got them. White bait eggs are laid in grassy river banks. Once they hatch, they're swept out to sea to grow through the winter before swimming back up the river to spawn. At full size, enunga can grow up to 10 centimetres long. Oh, I think there's one just scooting along the frame there now. They're just coming oh, onto yeah, the screen. So you've got to resist the temptation, I guess, to sort of leap up and try and herd them into yeah, well, things. You know, that's sort of my impulse is to sort of, oh, I need yeah. to do something, but I guess... Yeah, when they do play around, sometimes you think you should get out and whip them a bit or throw a stone at them to stir them up, but <laughs> no, your best thing is to just let them do their thing. A New Zealand whitebait catch is around 90% enunga, with some other species in the mix. However, as juveniles, it's almost impossible to tell the difference between them. Well, it's about two hours past the tide now and the white bait have stopped running. So we've pulled the net up and the screens and things in. And we've got a reasonably good sized bucket of white bait here. What do you reckon, that a good haul for a day? Oh, not too bad, we've got two and a half k's. Better than nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's all sorts of varying theories on how you're supposed to cook white bait. So what do you reckon is the way to do it? Straight out of the river, straight into the pan and in between two bits of bread. Got to be good. You got it. <laughs> white bait is an iconic New Zealand delicacy. For Peter and many like him on the coast, white baiting is more than a hobby; it's a way of life. I'm going to enjoy my retirement. <laughs> <laughs> Bob's this. I can see that. 